Good day my fellow royal fans and welcome back to the channel. For today's royal installment, Kate Middleton has no one to blame but herself for the Meghan Markle comparisons. Kate Middleton is upset again. The Duchess is still mad about the now infamous Tatler cover story and has released a statement through royal insiders claiming that she's keen to get rid of the comparisons between herself and Meghan Markle. What's got Kate Middleton all upset now? Aside from providing Tatler with the best publicity they've had in their lives, Kate Middleton has apparently told Royal Insider Duncan Larkholm that she's still devastated by the Society's magazine's allegation that she's exhausted. Most people have been called far worse, by far better. Just ask Meghan Markle what it's like to be told that she fuels human rights abuses, drugs and murder because she served avocado toast to her guests. If the worst thing the British press will ever say about Kate Middleton is that she was exhausted, she'll have lived a very charmed life. She was the one who started it all. Hmm. The same royal insider who claims that Kate Middleton is devastated over being called exhausted said the future queen consort is keen to tell the press to stop comparing her to her infamous sister-in-law. It's almost as though they want to draw a line in the sand where it's gone a bit too far. We know William and Kate are very sensitive about comparisons with Meghan. The narrative of that falling out between William and Kate and Harry and Meghan touches a nerve. That would be very noble if indeed it were true. If you believe a recent bombshell report which is at the crux of Prince Harry lawsuit again, The Sun, and other British papers, much of the British press's feeding frenzy against Meghan Markle came courtesy of Kensington Palace itself. Kristen Jones, who was the Cambridge's former press secretary, was reportedly paid very handsomely to provide inside scoops about Markle. And there's some intimidation that Kensington Palace did this to throw the scent off Prince William, who was allegedly creeping around with Rose Hanbury at the time. Gasp. Even if you believe Joan's denial of the accusation, and even if you believe that Prince William and Kate Middleton had nothing to do with the bloodthirsty freedom frenzy against Meghan Markle, there were plenty of opportunities for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to put their foot down and demand the press put an end to it all. But they did nothing to stop it. Kate Middleton said that she wants the press to stop comparing her to Meghan Markle. But maybe she shouldn't have opened the Pandora's box in the first place. Wow, very insightful article. Guys, please don't forget to tell me what you think about it all. I love to read your comments and opinions. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.